Our zest money EMI for everyone player of the match is the Indian captain Virat Kohli again. Another 100 for him in ODI cricket. He's uh, making these stuns for fun. Darren Ganga had the best seat in the house while watching him at the Queen's Park Oval to take his side to a series win. And yes, but for that uh, one chance that he offered Darren, it was a flawless innings that made a target of uh, well over seven and over look ridiculously easy. Very much so. And uh, it showed his resilience as well as a batsman. Uh, he got struck a couple of times on his right thumb and he continued batting. Uh, it would have been a few painful blows he got, I think, off the bowling of Kimar Roach. And not only was he fluent and classical in his approach, I, I felt that, uh, again, he was able to take control of the situation. He knew exactly what was required uh, after losing Shikhar Dhawan and Rohit Sharma. He forged a really good partnership uh, with Shreyas Aya, and he never looked phased. And that's the thing about Virat Kohli. You can tell once he crosses 50 that... Uh, there's a huge chance of him going on to score a century. Uh, his conversion rate is now close to five. Every five times he bats in uh, ODI cricket, he gets to a century. So that's quite amazing as, a, as an international player in ODI cricket. I don't think anyone is close or has been close to Virat Kohli in terms of his conversion rate. And that's the greatness of the man. And he continues to be a rarity amongst modern-day power hitters in terms of just the reluctance he shows to hitting sixes, even though he so can. Today, at least, he hit a few boundaries aerial. Otherwise, that even doesn't happen. You had five sixes of the bat of Shreya Sire. You had five sixes of Chris Gale's bat earlier. Plenty of sixes in the West Indies innings. Virat Kohli gets to another 100 in a chase that needs the team to go at over seven and over. And he does it without needing a six. He does it in 99 balls. And it's an unbeaten knock as well. Today, again, just like that century scored in the second ODI, he struck 14 boundaries and no sixes in this innings. He is, you know, not phased. Uh, he's not even, I would say, pushed from what is happening on the other end. Uh, you know, sometimes as a player in international cricket, you think that you need to, to change your game, to change your style, your approach, especially with the advent of T20 cricket. Not so Virat Kohli. He would score at 140. He would score at 160 and create his own ecosystem and his own tempo to his batting. That's when he's at his best. He understands his game inside out, and he speaks more often than not about the tempo of his batting. I just believe other international teams have not been able to push Virat Kohli out of his comfort zone yet again today. Uh, whilst he was getting frustrated, he was able to sort of push some of that pressure on Shreya Sire to remain in his uh, sort of zone as a batsman and, you know, quite comfortably uh, chasing uh, the target score of 255 and getting India another series win against the West Indies. All right. Many thanks for that, Darren Ganga. It's not uh, the first time and it certainly won't be the last that Virat Kohli features on segments such as these. For that uh, fine 100 leading India to a series win, he is our zest money EMI for everyone, player of the match.